There's been a lot of tattooers that sat at home and watched the show and said, oh, I could blow that away, I could do so much better. But when these artists get here, they figure out, oh my God, the stakes are high, I'm on TV, and I think a lot of artists crack. The artists that come in don't really know what's in store for them. There's big stakes at this, man. There's $100,000. I'm not trying to leave here without winning that check. It's either going to be you or me. Damn well sure believe it's going to be me. And more importantly, there is your reputation to your clients, to your future business for the rest of your career is on the line. If they come out here and look like shit, they're going to look like shit forever. If you don't have the sensibilities to pick up those flaws, then maybe this isn't the game. But if they come out and have a great showing and they become a fan favorite, look at last year, Tattoo Baby. She came in fourth, but she finished number one, and she's back for another round. Each season, we like to change the game a little bit to keep the artists on their toes. After every elimination tattoo, there will be a human canvas jury. The human canvas jury makes me nervous. I'm worried that they're gonna look at things with an untrained eye. There's no contrast between the castle and the dragon. I wanted black and gray though, that's what I wanted. So then where'd the red come from? She hurt me, bro. Her technique was not up to par. For once, the human canvases now have a voice. When I walk in and I get a tattoo, if the artist is nervous, you that wanted what make you want, we got that. Nervous. That's handled. But do you get I spent that? Time. Do you get that? I've never had a client do this to me before. When all is said and done, I'm the one that walks out of here with it on my skin. You know, unless you're sharing a hundred grand. I would love to kick him out right now and say, I'm sorry, but you don't get a tattoo today. I know what's good and what's bad. And when you're judging, it's a lot like being a fine art curator. This is not a sound tattoo in any way. There's not one clean bit of outline anywhere. For a lot of reasons, this tattoo is just a beat down for me, man. A beat down. My first impression is I don't like it. As a judge in this competition, look for these artists to come in here and show us how versatile they can be. And we're really focused on what a great tattoo can be. Great depth, nice color. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for the ability to adapt to all challenges. You must create an anatomical tattoo. Comic book supervillains. Today, you're tattooing the head. <laughs> you're serious. This is something that you create from within. When somebody challenges that, it's not just did you win or lose the game, this is, this is yourself. Art and competition, it all equals an all out battle for these guys to get to the finale. An all new season of Ink Master starts Tuesday, July 16th at 10 on Spike.